It is a true honour for me uh, to be here in Boston today as with Merrill Wells to make the announcement that the four great schools from the NCAA will be coming to Belfast in November this year to take part in the first ever competitive NCAA uh, Hockey League Games outside of the United States. As well as taking part in the games, the universities will be integrating with the Belfast educational and sporting communities, spreading their message of sportsmanship, education and excellence. <laughs> These young men will be able to uh, to have something and do something that uh, not many people in their family and their own families have done. Um, I know rugby and soccer, uh, big sports there, and uh, I know they're trying to rely on hockey a little bit more to you know bring the community together a little bit more. And uh, you know, I'm really happy to be a part of it. Not everyone gets a chance to travel overseas, and we're lucky enough to do that. And it's an hockey over here as well. Thank you, very welcome to Dublin Airport. The local time is just after 20 past seven in the morning. All right, uh, don't stick them in the ground because it wrecks the chrome. Don't stick them in your toes because it wrecks your toes. Uh, who wants to do them? Come on, don't be shy. Come on. Come on. And we got to go to a special needs school and uh, just kind of have fun with the kids and just hopefully help them out a little bit. Hi guys. Hi guys. Hello. 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 I just hope, you know, we can cheer the kids up and see a smile on their face, which we did. It was fun for us too, you know, it was a good time. We kind of played a few little games with them. Uh, so it was really fun. Just point it at them and see what they do. Well, you know, my problems are, are very small. When I when I see like, people like that and people in need, you know, little kids like that who are suffering. Um, so it's good to be able to help out. It's Thanksgiving. Many of these young men have not gotten an opportunity to spend Thanksgiving with their parents for several, several years. My dad here with me. It's the first time in five years I'll be having Thanksgiving with my family. I got my mom here, my sister here, and uh, an aunt and some friends. So it's be able to nice share that experience with them. There's been a lot of fun educational experiences, cultural experiences for the guys, and now it's time to focus on the game. Good evening and welcome to the SSE Arena in Belfast, Northern Ireland. This is the Friendship Four Tournament and this is UMass Lowell Hockey. Attacks on this is Smith. Drop pass. Drive six. Score! Dylan Jake with a bomb from just inside the blue line. And we are tied in the goal. So it was a good one, but broken stick on the ice. Could be a chance as it broke. Spin around. Yeah. Yeah. What a finish from Ryan McGrath. And we're tied at two. 59 minutes on the nose. Got it to a teammate. Now the slot. Dylan Zink fires. Scores! Dylan Zink wins it in overtime. 
Dylan Zick. What a performance from that man. They're enjoying it. They're very, very happy as UMass Law move on through to the final of the Bell Pots. We've got a tall task, a tremendous challenge tomorrow. Uh, Brown dominated their game today where we squeaked by. So we're going to have a lot of work uh, cut out for us tonight. Yeah, they're going to be a good team. They've got to come out and play with a lot of urgency, play hard and play our style of hockey and good things will happen. Possession kept now. There could be another opportunity. McGrath scores! He is a fine, fine finisher. Ian Bardella taking the puck uh, from Jaffe, putting it in front of McGrath and the Riverhawks are on top. one nothing, and we are not even two minutes into this one. Not too many options for him, though. Kapler back to Chappy again. Oh, what a move. Cheeky. Chappy goes back to oh, That is quality from a man whose name often rings from this arena. It's 40. Following the systems, and they're able to close games out when they're in front. Here's Smith driving hard to the net. Tries to make a move. Jumps out in front. And the reply is swift. Attack toward the brown net. Carries behind the net, wraparound, shot, SCORE! Unbelievable play there by Smith. He had the Jets turned on, knew he had the defenseman beat. Zink feeds it out in front. This could be a real opportunity. Ernst again, and finally hammered home. It was coming, and Chappie was Johnny on the spot. He's had a great, great night. They went to the front of the net, they stormed the front of the net, and the puck came loose to the uncovered Adam Jaffe, and he made no mistake. We're into the final 50 seconds. McGrath. Still McGrath. Goes back to Kapler, lets it go, rebound, second chance, score! The game is tied at five! CJ Smith! This is a Bellpot final, which is giving and giving and giving. Edward will skate in, makes the move, goes low, and that's a good save from Ernst. Yeah. Slowly from Lappin. Head fake, head fake, head fake. Lappin with the move. Kick save. Well, yeah. patience wasn't going to be digged out of his pads. CJ Smith scored twice in the game. He's the reason we're here. Off the post. An inch away. Wilman stepping in with the move, Wilman. The clutch kid, Dylan Zink. You want the puck in a person's hands who wants to make the difference. Zink with the third shot for UMass Lowell. Zink settles the puck down. Fake, 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 Zink scores! In those instances, Dylan was probably the right guy for that situation. Oh, so patient! Really? A man who's lit up the bell ball. That Not was stunning from Zink. Has to score. McLario comes in. Save! UMass Lowell win the Valpot with another comeback victory. They need a penalty shots this time, but their name will be forever etched in history. They take the very first tournament here in Northern Ireland.